back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to teach you guys how to go from this to this so I'm going to be doing this on my mom um, she's had long hair for the longest and sometimes when she doesn't have time to go to the salon we just go to Sally's and you know she gets her some of her toners there to help tone up the brassiness and turn it more like ash she, she decided she wanted to go for a more grayish color which looks amazing on her I'm gonna show you guys her at the end here with me and all we used for today were these two toners right here these are both from Wella color charm in the shades 050 and T14 050 is a little bit more ashy tone it's more of like a violent color which is how she got this beautiful color but mixed in together with 18 it just created such a nice like almost like a green shade you know but it's really nice and obviously I just mix it with some of the cream developer this is what I used to use back when I had blonde hair as well but like I mentioned in my last video uh, all about my hair and how I keep it healthy when I was blonde um this is what I would do as well but I had more of like a almost like a brassy blonde it wasn't too brassy but it was definitely not you know like as ashy as I would have liked it to be but yeah this is what I would do sometimes as well so if you guys want to see how we got this color on her then please keep on watching so I'm going to go ahead and start applying this is the Wella color charm toners in the shades t14 and 050 in order to get more of like a cool violet effect and i will be using this with the cream developer in volume 20 from wella as well and it is a one to two ratio so one of the toner and two of the developer and one thing i also wanted to mention was that you have to use plastic utensils and not metal because it will work better this way and i'm going to go ahead and start mixing and it is totally normal to get a cool violet color tint as this is what will cancel out the brassiness and i'm going to go ahead and start sectioning off the hair and try to apply this product as evenly as possible all throughout the hair and one last thing is that the hair also has to be damp in order for the product to work so I'm going to go ahead and start applying this as evenly throughout the hair as possible. So now it is time to rinse out the hair and this is the final result. So this is my mom. 
Hola. And this is how her hair turned out. It turned out like gray. It's not brassy at all, which was what we tried to eliminate with the toner. If you guys liked it, um, I used to have this hair, but I didn't really like it on me, but it looks great on her. You can tone your hair at home without going to the salon. It's what I used to do back when I had blonde hair. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.